Caitlyn Jenner's opening up about how difficult it was for Kim Kardashian living with Kanye West and Caitlyn's thoughts on the new relationship with Pete Davidson and how they don't need any more rappers in the family. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been a while since we talked about the Kardashians, but more specifically, it's been a very long time since we talked about Caitlyn Jenner. Yes, there's been stories, but we've ignored them. So Caitlyn Jenner did a new interview, a new podcast interview, and she's opening up about life after the Kardashians and everything that she has going on in her life. But the most interesting things from this podcast with these uh, black guys, I implore you to watch the interview because sometimes when you just read an article and they just pull out snippets, you're like, but th the interview is a little cringy at moments, but also very insightful. There were some cringy moments that I was like, um, all right. But more specifically, Kay Caitlyn Jenner talks about the difficulties that Kim Kardashian had living with Kanye West. You can only imagine we've already covered so many different stories about Kanye West, but there's one thing to cover what he puts out on social media and the other part of living with Kanye West. As you know, Kanye West has been very quiet in recent weeks. We hear, according to multiple sources, that he's working on himself and trying to be a better dad. So this is what Caitlyn said in this new interview, and this is coming from our friends over at Page Six. They report, he was very difficult to live with, the former Olympian said on the Pivot podcast. Jenna pointed out, however, that West, 44, had been on her side when she transitioned in 2015, but she still considers the billionaire rapper to be a very complicated guy. Actually, I'm really into Pete right now with Kim. We have a comedian in the family, yay. We don't need more rappers, we need a comedian in the family. Actually, I'm really into Pete right now with Kim. Mm-hmm, really? Yeah, we got a comedian in the family. Yay! We need, we need a comedian in the family. We don't need more rappers. We need comedians in the family. Anyway, we got make enough the, rappers. Make, make the barbecues more yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, but Pete is. Uh, they came over the other day because I told Kim, Kim, I haven't even met him yet. So she brought him over, and they, we spent a couple hours here at the house together. And uh, very different than what she would normally date, but. Kimberly has been through a lot with the guys she's been with, you know? Very, and, and um, especially Kanye, um, very complicated guy. I really like Kanye, I got along with him so well. Two of us did great together. And through, when even when I transitioned, he was so on my side and, you know, loving it. But he was very difficult to live with. And Pete is 100, 180 degrees the other direction. I mean, first of all, he treats her so well. And when they were over here, Kim is so happy. And Kim deserves to be happy. She's been through a hell of a lot in her life. A hell of a lot, you know? And she deserves happiness. And that made me happy. I said, okay, good. I like Pete, you know? Yeah. You know, I can crack some jokes with him. In regards to the differences between a Kanye West and a Pete Davidson, Caitlin says this, Davidson is very different than what Kim, Kim would normally date, but Kimberly has been through a lot with guys she's been with, especially Kanye. Pete is 100 degrees in the other direction. First of all, he treats her so well, and when they were over here, Kim was so happy, and Kim deserves to be happy. So as you guys know, Kim started dating Pete Davidson in the middle of of her divorce from Kanye West back in October of 2021. I've made it very known that I don't believe that this is a real relationship. I honestly believe that this is for the public eye. And if you look at the Courtney and Travis Barker wedding over the weekend, you get completely what I mean. Read between the lines. That was a very odd and weird wedding. Moving along. So in March, a Los Angeles judge declared, of course, Kim Kardashian single. And of course, Yeezy is included in that. And Kim finally went public with Pete Davidson on a red carpet at the White House Correspondents Dinner. Since then, we've seen them multiple times together, most recently at the Met Gala. But in this interview, Caitlyn talks a lot about the difference that she sees in Kim Kardashian with Pete Davidson and 
how different this relationship is as opposed to her relationship with Kanye and other people. Because, look, she's dated quite a few different people. And the family has come a long way since we were introduced to them on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, including Caitlyn. But I I'll say this. I'm honestly happy that the drama with, with Kanye and Kim has quieted down not sure how long that will last but it's been lasting for a, a long time but they have four kids that they have to co-parent together and caitlin chiming in and saying how much a difference that kim is she's actually is with someone that matches her happy and you know the interviewers were asking you know, like well you know there's a big difference between pete davidson and kim kardashian when it comes to looks when it comes to money as you know, Pete Davidson just recently announced that he will not be returning to Saturday Night Live because there's speculation that Kris Jenner is going to manage him. No, I keep telling you guys, look at the signs. This is just them trying to elevate Pete. Pete probably believes and probably his people believe now that he's with Kim Kardashian, he's on a whole other level. He's bigger than Saturday Night Live. He's probably going to try to move into doing his own movies and look we know he's done movies before but to be a bigger level i'm not that interested in pete davidson i don't think he's that funny i didn't think he was that funny on saturday night live but there are a lot of people on saturday night live that are not funny saturday night live in general is not that funny i still miss mad tv that's a whole other side conversation but i keep telling you take a look at how these people move. Ray J just sh showed us that these people these kardashians are plotting and planning this they've been doing this since the beginning Nothing wrong with that. A lot of people in the industry plot and plan these publicity things that we see, including Kanye. But this whole fake relationship for for clout, eh, I'm not that interested. That's why I don't report every day on their relationships. Oh, they're their first time on the red carpet or they're kissing or they're about to. They will have a full on baby. Don't be surprised just to solidify this relationship. Look at Courtney and Travis. Now people are talking about Courtney, the, the one that no one really talked about before. And now Travis has been elevated in a whole other light. Either way, I thought what, what Caitlin had to say was interesting. I will link the full interview in the description of this video if you'd care. Let's continue this conversation below. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.